Silverfish DX is an interesting one. It takes its ideas from some of the modes in the classic Geometry Wars 2 and wraps them up in an experience that shines brightly for a bit before fading. There is enjoyment to be had here, but in the end, you can't help but think it could have built something a bit more substantial on top of its foundations. You're controlling a spacecraft in a walled off section of the cosmos, or at least it looks like that. I imagine you're actually controlling a spacey fish. You don't have any guns though. Instead, you're flying around collecting orbs. These cause explosions when you pick them up, which destroy the enemies around you. They drop green blobs, and if you pick these up, your score multiplier goes up. When you've grabbed enough of the power orbs, you become a machine of pure destruction that can eat anything around you. That state doesn't last very long though, so you need to make hay while the sun shines. Your power bar also represents your health. Take a hit when you're on the way to nom down an orb and that bar will go down. Once it hits zero, you've got five seconds to grab some more, otherwise game over. And that's all there is to it. After a few attempts, you've probably set a pretty decent high score, but it's unlikely you're going to feel the urge to push on and do loads more. There's no real progression, and the AI behind the bugs you're eating doesn't come close to the squares and triangles that menaced you so well in Geometry Wars. It's a shame because there is potential here. Bar questioning its originality, there's nothing technically wrong with the game. It's just that when you get to the point where you need something more, it doesn't deliver. You will get some fast arcade fun, but in the end, it wears out its welcome a little bit too quickly to recommend it fully.